Katrina, the Oracle, hexagram 59, 1, making waves. The Oracle, a very important task is at hand, and to make waves, you will be the driver of the forces, like wind breaking waves, a voice of reason, virtue, and compassion rises to reform what is broken and severe. Omen of one with a strong sense of purpose who understands exactly what must be done to make waves and create necessary change. Set aside personal interest and pursue public interest. Heaven seeks you as a vessel to carry forth its mission. Dispel what has been oppressive. Honor the gods and ancestors to receive further insight, prayer, petitions, meditation, and music. The wind pushes the water upward. To commune with the gods, the first kings made offerings and built temples to honor Shangdi, the sovereign of heaven. Auspicious to cross the great stream. Who you are is what you create in this world, a favorable omen. The story of hexagram 59 features a protagonist horse who is introduced in the first line and then implied in the second through the sixth lines. The wind's breath on the wings of water is the image of the horse in movement and an image of the totemic horse's power. Line rescued by a strong horse. escapes from the stall. Disappointments vanish. Third line, like wind breaking waves, one body cuts like a spear. There is no blame. Fourth line, like wind breaking waves separating from the flock, supreme good auspices, brimming and overflowing upon the hill. The heretics deluge the mound with their grievances. Such waves lead to graves. The dishonorable are none the wiser. Fifth line. Like wind-breaking waves sweating the sovereign's royal decree. Like wind-breaking waves the sovereign's dwelling place is spared. There is no blame. Sixth line. Like wind-breaking waves overflowing with bloodshed. Leave, go far from here. To do so, no harm befalls. The lines were wind over water. That's why it made making waves. From the I Ching... The Book of Changes, The Practical Guide to the Book of Changes by Benabel Wynn is where I read it from.